Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced Project Suncatcher, the world's first AI data center in space, powered directly by the sun. Elon Musk's response, great idea, then confirmed SpaceX will do the same. SpaceX will be doing orbital data centers. We'll scale up Starlink 5.3 satellites into space-based computing hubs. AI isn't staying in data centers anymore. It's moving to chips, devices, network edge, and space. NVIDIA becomes the first company in history to hit $5 trillion in market value. Same week, they drop $1 billion into Nokia. Stock jumps 22%. Three weeks earlier, $5 billion into Intel. Intel stock surges 23%, its best day in 38 years. But Elon fires back. SpaceX spends $17 billion securing wireless spectrum to challenge AT&T and Verizon directly. Starlink crosses 6 million users with direct-to-phone satellite service rolling out. And then, a new front opens. Samsung partners with Starlink to build AI-powered satellite modems. On-device, AI plus orbital connectivity, phones and cars becoming AI edge nodes connected to space. And Tesla announces AI5, claiming 40 times faster inference than AI4. Elon's already teasing AI6, AI7, and AI8. Meanwhile, XAI, Elon's open AI rival, is reportedly negotiating a $20 billion raise at a possible $200 billion valuation with NVIDIA expected to join in. And the kicker? Microsoft's CEO says it out loud. We have the chips, but not the electricity to plug them in. This isn't a chip war. It's compute, connectivity, power, and models all converging, from data centers to devices, and now to satellites. This is AI Vanguard. Here's what's actually happening. Wall Street still calls NVIDIA a chip company. They're wrong. NVIDIA is building the operating system for global intelligence through strategic investments. October 28th, NVIDIA invests $1 billion in Nokia, taking 2.9% ownership. Nokia stock jumps 22% in hours. Nokia isn't nostalgia. It's a telecom and cloud infrastructure powerhouse, now co-building A, iNative 6G networks. Together, they're developing NVIDIA Aerial, real-time sensing, adaptive spectrum, intelligence delivered over the air. T-Mobile begins testing in 2026. America's 6G rollout pulled forward by years. Suddenly your phone, car, factory robot, becomes a node in a global AI mesh. Three weeks earlier, NVIDIA puts $5 billion into Intel, 23% stock pop. Intel will manufacture custom NVIDIA CPUs for data centers and integrate NVIDIA GPU chiplets into PCs. Plus, NVIDIA invested in 50 AI companies in 2024, OpenAI, XAI, Mistral, Perplexity. Jensen Huang now has transparency into half a trillion dollars in chip demand through 2026. Do you see it? NVIDIA makes the brains. Nokia builds the networks. Intel manufactures the silicon. The ecosystem just locked in tighter. While NVIDIA dominates on Earth, Starlink attacks from orbit. 6,750 satellites. 6 million customers. 200 megabits per second median speeds. Starlink, direct to sell, lands 2025, texts first, voice, and data next, works on existing phones, no hardware upgrades, T-Mobile testing now, free to post paid subscribers, zero towers, zero towers, just space to phone, half the planet lacks high-speed internet, Starlink fills the gap, then the power move, September 8, 2025. SpaceX acquires 50 megahertz of licensed spectrum for $17 billion. No more leasing bandwidth. Starlink becomes a full mobile carrier from orbit. SpaceX CEO Gwyn Shotwell. With exclusive spectrum, SpaceX will develop next generation direct to sell satellites with more than 100 times the capacity. Elon said it plainly. You should be able to watch videos anywhere on your phone. SpaceX now owns the frequencies instead of leasing from carriers. Complete independence. Samsung is reportedly developing an AI-powered modem chip for Starlink's 6G non-terrestrial network, improving beam and channel prediction by 55x and 42x respectively, enabling direct-to-device satellite links without towers. 
While NVIDIA brings AI to Earth's networks, Musk brings cellular to orbit. Orbital 5G competing with ground 5G. Zero dependence on terrestrial infrastructure? This isn't satellite internet. It's space-based 5G and future 6G. The telecom map just got rewritten. And here's the twist. Satya Nadella. We have chips sitting idle because we don't have enough electricity. Data center energy prices? Up over 250% in some regions. Virginia alone, 26% of all electricity now goes to data centers. The new scarce resource isn't silicon, it's powered data center slots. And that's why Edge AI and 6G matter. Less cloud strain, more on-device intelligence. Billions of devices sharing compute. AI is leaving the data center and entering the physical world. But here's where it gets wild. The power bottleneck just opened a new frontier. Space. November 4th, Google announced Project Suncatcher. Sundar Pichai. Our TPUS are headed to orbit, harnessing unlimited solar power. Launch timeline 2027 with Planet Labs. Zero carbon, no electric grid. No cooling costs, space handles that. Elon Musk's response, great idea. Then he doubled down. Simply scaling up Starlink Vi-3 satellites with laser links would work. SpaceX will be doing this. Pichai responded, this is only possible because of SpaceX's advances in launch technology. Think about it. Google and SpaceX, robots, cars, factories, energy systems. OpenAI scales the cloud. Tesla scales the physical world. Different fronts, same war. China isn't sitting still. Huawei unveils the Atlas 950 supercluster, claiming 6.7 times NVIDIA's next-gen capacity. Hundreds of thousands of Ascend chips rolling out. Focused on inference, not just training. This is no longer corporate competition. This is geopolitics in Silicon. AIRAN market heading to 200 billion plus by 2030. NVIDIA at 5 trillion. Starlink covering the planet. And electricity is the new gold. This decade won't be remembered for the fastest GPU, but for who built the infrastructure of the future mind. Earth plus space, cloud plus edge, compute plus connectivity plus power. So here's where we are. NVIDIA. $5 trillion. Infrastructure empire across Earth. Starlink. $17 billion spectrum buy. Challenging terrestrial carriers. Google. Project Suncatcher. AI data centers in orbit by 2027. SpaceX scaling Starlink V3 into orbital compute hubs. Microsoft warning the power grid can't handle the demand. Tesla. AI 5 chip 40 times faster. Huawei, claiming 6.7 times NVIDIA's performance. Three fronts, one war, Earth, orbit, and power. This is the AI vanguard era. Stay early, stay sharp. This race just accelerated.